Hey squad, welcome back. Now today's video is all about the amazing Alchemy, which is a stock software instrument plugin that comes as part of Logic Pro X. Now I did a video not too long ago comparing some of the sampling features between Alchemy and the EXS24 sampler. However, today we're gonna dig a little bit deeper and today I'm gonna show you one of the main reasons why Alchemy is a far more flexible sampler than the EXS24. And after watching today's video, you are definitely gonna be using these tips okay now let's get into it okay so the song I'm using to demonstrate today is something I'm just finishing off and should be released by the end of the month it's called hold on let me just give you a quick taste the sample I'll be working on today is this audio recording right here and the vocalist is simply singing hold on anyway let's just give you a quick taste of the track Okay, cool. So that's uh, giving you a rough idea as to what's going on. Like I said, it's still in the production phase and should be finished by the end of the month. All right, so let me solo the actual um, vocal section. So let's play that back. I'm just adding some effects using Nectar 2. Let me turn that off so you can actually hear the raw sample. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna be doing is bringing this sample into Alchemy as well as into the EXS24. And, and I'm gonna show you how you can do something very clever in Alchemy that you can't do in the EXS24 sampler. So let's build this from scratch. Now we're gonna create a brand new software instrument. So the key command is command option S for new software instrument. We're gonna change this to Alchemy, okay. Right, so this is your first screen. We're in the browser screen right now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to advanced. We wanna see this page. Don't worry about all of this complicated stuff. We won't be doing much with that today. Just come up here to file and go to initialize preset. So we're bringing this preset back to its most basic form. The next thing we're gonna do is come up here to the first oscillator, source A, and we're gonna click here and we're gonna to go to Import audio, okay. Now we get this screen, okay. Now what we wanna do is import our audio file into this screen. The sample is actually sitting on the desktop for, for ease. I'm gonna click on desktop and I'm gonna click on hold on and I'm going to import and now it's in. Okay, so now that sample has been loaded, I'm gonna hit a pad on my Launchpad Pro. Okay, that's it there, let's play back. Now here's the original audio. Okay, and now the sample. Okay, exactly the same. I'm gonna call this Alchemy Hold On. Okay, and now here, now I'm gonna create a brand new EXS24 sampler instrument. Let's go in there, stereo. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna import the same audio into the EXS24 sampler. We'll then be able to compare and contrast this technique between the two samplers. So here we go, edit, zone, new zone, and just come along here to under audio file, load sample. And here's our sample, load that up, hold on. And now that's in. And now when I press the corresponding note for C3 on my Launchpad Pro. Okay, listen to that. Okay. And I'm just gonna save this sampler instrument as hold on. Come out of here, we've got hold on in there. Okay, great. Now let's save this one as well. Save as, hold on. Great, come out from here. I'm gonna re rename this as well. Shift spacebar EXS24, hold on. Let's just save that. Now I go to my Alchemy instrument and I press C3 on there. Hold on. And I go to my EXS24 sampler, I press C3. Hold on. Exactly the same. Okay, now both the EXS24 sampler and alchemy have got great features that will allow you to edit and shape the sound. Now the tone of the actual instrument 
you can shape that within each of these plugins. But that's not what we're going to be focusing on today. What we're going to be focusing on is this right here, something that's actually going to change the game for you. So let's start with the EXS24 sampler. Let me come out of here. Now, if you remember, the original sample audio sounds like this. Okay, now let's come to the EXS24 sampler. The root key for this is right here. Okay, and I'm now going to click on Alchemy and the root key for it is here. Okay, same sample. However, let's go back to the EXS24. We're going to start on this note right here and we're going to work our way up the keyboard and then we're going to work our way down. Let's jump up a bit. Okay, very much like a typical sampler. Let's go down the range, starting from the root again. Again, very much like a traditional sampler, where as you go up the range, the sample pitch rises. However, the sample also speeds up. When you go down the keyboard or go down the range, the sample slows down and the pitch lowers. So, okay, great. That's to be expected. However, let's check this out on Alchemy. Now, once again, here's the root. Okay, let's drop down quite a bit. Hmm, nice. Now, the sample pitch has lowered, but the length has stayed the same. Right, now that's pretty powerful. Now, as we go up and down the range, the sample pitch changes with the note, but more importantly, the speed of the sample stays the same. What's happening right here is that Alchemy seems to be using Logic's powerful flex feature to adjust the sample speed according to the note you have pressed, which makes the sampler feature in Alchemy really, really flexible and far more musical than the EXS24. Now, don't get me wrong, the EXS24 is a brilliant sampler. However, this fantastic feature in Alchemy is really gonna change the game for you, and I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm gonna play a really simple pattern using these pads over the track, using this new Alchemy preset that I've created, and just check this out and see how you might be able to incorporate this into your production as well. Now, like I said, there are a ton of other things that you can do within Alchemy to actually shape the sound. And I'll just show you one or two little bits that I've done. So here is my original sound. That's the original sample. And I've just switched on the filter. I've messed with the filter cutter. Resonance and the drive, okay? Um, and down here, I've come to the effects section and I'm gonna switch on a delay. Yeah, and I've just messed with some settings there. You can come over here and you can use a preset um, from here and you can create your own custom settings here as well. Um, there's so much you can do within Alchemy. It's actually amazing and it really is something that needs to be discovered and it will really enhance your music production. I'm going to crack on and use this tool in my track and you'll hear the results once the song has been released.
great stuff. I really do hope you found the video useful. If you did, drop me a line in the comment section, like the video and subscribe to the channel. This will really help me out. Now remember to support me at dospeeds.com as well as on my social media channels. And finally, switch on that notification bell so just like the rest of the MTTC squad, you'll find out as soon as my next video drops. Until next time, I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.